All right, welcome everyone to Mass Guru Educational Services. If you are joining us for the first time on Mass Guru channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button so you'll be informed anytime we upload a new video on this uh, platform. Uh, in our previous classes, we talked about um, conversion from one base to another. We did uh, conversion from base 10 to other bases. We did the conversion from other bases to base 10. Uh, and we also talked about uh, conversion from one base to another other than base 10. That is, for instance, uh, conversion from base uh, 2 to base 5, conversion from base 5 to base 6, and so on. We talked about that. Today we are going to talk about uh, how to convert from decimal to either binary or number in base 5, base 6, base 7, and so on. The same procedure we're going to apply. So, uh, today we have um, three questions here to attend. The first one is to convert 4.125, 4.125 to base 2. We have 4.125. This number is in base 10, so we are required to convert it to base 2. To convert it to base 2. If you take a good look at this uh, number, we have we have the integral part which is 4, the whole number 4. Then we have the decimal part which is um, 1 to 5, that is 0 0.125. So we are going to simply uh, separate the integral part from the decimal part. So we are going to have um, 4 which is the integral part we're going to convert this to base 2 differently. Then we have um, the decimal part, which is 0 0.125. We're going to convert that to base 2 also. So these two uh, numbers now are in base 10. So we go straight to do the conversion. Remember how we convert from uh, base 10 to base 2. 2 then. So we have um, 4. 2 in 4, we have uh, 2 remainder 0. Then 2 in 2, we have 1 remainder 0. Then 2 in 1, we have 0 remainder 1. So if we take our arrow up and read this, we're going to have 1, 0, 0 in base 2. Then let's talk about the decimal points, uh, I mean the decimal parts uh, quickly. We have uh, 0 0.125. What we are going to do here is to continue to multiply this number by 2 since we are to convert it to base 2. So if for instance you are to convert it to base 3 now, you are going to be multiplying it by 3. So let's do that and see. We have 0 0.125 times 2. So you can make use of your calculator and see 0 0.125 times 2. We are going to have um, 0 0.25. 0 0.25. So we write 0 plus 0 0.25. So the next one is to multiply this decimal part again 0 0.25 times 2. We continue to do this and we're going to have, um, if we multiply it by 2, we're going to have 0 0.5, which is the same thing as 0 plus 0 0.5. Then we have the decimal part again. We do the multiplication. 0 0.5 times 2. If we multiply this by 2, we're going to have 1, which is the same thing as 1 plus 0. You can have it as 0, 0.0. That is it. So 
now at this point this is how we're going to take the reading we take it from the top to the bottom on like we take this one the arrow up we are going to move our arrow down and take this reading which is going to give us 0 0.001 0 001 so we first of all have points which is the point we have here then we take look at it we have the point there so we take the reading 0 0.001 and we have that converted to base 2. So if we join these two parts now, you can simply say 100 base 2 plus 0 0.001 base 2. And this will simply give us 100.001 in base 2. This is simply how we do uh, any form of conversion from decimal to another base, either to binary, ternary, quaternary, quinary, and so on. The same procedure we can use to do the conversion. Then, okay, let's talk about the second question. Then we have um, 56. 56.75 in base 10 to be converted to base 2. To convert this to base 2. All right, let's quickly do that. So we separate as usual 56, and the decimal part is going to be 0 0.75. Now, let's do the conversion for 56 to base 2. 56. Then 2. 2 in 56, we're going to have uh, 2, 8. Remainder 0. 2 in 28, we're going to have 1, 4. Remainder 0. 2 in 14, we're going to have 7. Remainder 0. 2 in 7, we're going to have... 3 remainder 1. 2 in 3 is going to give us some um, 1 remainder 1. Then 2 in 1 will give us 0 remainder 1. And when we take the reading, we're going to have this to be equal to 111000 to base 2. Then let's get to the decimal part. We have um, 0 0.75. Since we are converting it to base 2, we are going to multiply it by 2. And uh, 0 0.75 times 2 will give us 1.5, which is the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.5. 1 plus 0 0.5 is the same thing as 1.5. Five. So we take the decimal again to multiply 0 0.5 times 2. 0 0.5 times 2 is 1. So we're going to have 1 plus 0. So we are going to take the reading downward. If you take the reading downward, we're going to have 1, 1. That is going to be 0. 1 1 in base 2. So if we join the two together, we are going to have um, 1 1 1 0 0 0 in base 2 plus 0 0.1 1 in base 2. And this will be equal to one 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 zero 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 point one one in base two so it means fifty six point seven five in base ten is equal to one 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 zero 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 point one one in base two now let's try uh 
another base here, uh, base 5. Let's try conversion to base 5. We have um, the number there is 104.68 is in base 10. We are to convert this to base 5. All right. So as usual, we are going to separate the integral part from the decimal part. So we have the integral part 104 and the decimal part is 0 0.68. All right. Let's do that quickly. We convert this to base 5. 104 to base 5. We put a 5 here. So 5 in this, we're going to have um, 20 remainder 4. 5 in 20, we're going to have 4 remainder 0. And uh, 5 in 4, we're going to have 0 remainder 4. So at this point, we take our arrow up and take the reading 4, 0, Four in base 5. Then, if we are to convert the decimal part, the same process we use with um, base 2 uh, conversion, we multiply it by 5. This time around, since we are converting it to base 5. So, 0.68 times 5 will give us 3.4. 3.4. 3.4 is the same as 3 plus 0 0.4. So we separate the integral part from the decimal part. So the next one we're going to have 0 0.4 times 5. So if we do 0.4 times 5, we're going to have 2. So this is same as 2 plus 0. 0 0.00 anything you like. So we take an arrow down instead this time around to take the reading. So we have 3, 2 in base 5. So when we join both, we're going to have 404.32 in base 5. That is to say, 104.68 in base 10 is equal to 404.32 in base 5. This is how to convert from decimal to a quinary number.